the size of a postage stamp. Thinner than a strand of hair and made of nearly 40 billion components. Can you guess what I'm talking about? It is something that a significant part of the industry is chasing as we speak. Well, I'm talking about semiconductors. Semiconductors, which we also call chips, are an essential component at the heart of economic growth, manufacturing and tech innovation. The impact that semiconductors have on the world development probably exceeds that of the industrial revolution. And in this video, we try to simplify this very complex component. So, what are semiconductors? A substance that conducts electricity is called a conductor and a substance that does not conduct electricity is called an insulator. Semiconductors lie somewhere between the two. Semiconductors play a critical role in equipment control in a variety of fields such as operating air conditioners at a comfortable room temperature, improving automobile safety, laser treatment in cutting-edge medical care and much more. Some of the properties of semiconductor materials were observed throughout the mid-19th and the first decades of the 20th century. Developments in quantum physics led in turn to the invention of the transistor in 1947, the integrated circuit in 1958 and the MOSFET in 1959. Electronic components using semiconductors are called semiconductor devices, including the IC, which is an integrated circuit of transistors. Semiconductor devices mounted inside many electronic appliances are more important electronic components that support our everyday lives. From smartphones, PCs, pacemakers to the internet, automobiles, aircrafts and advanced weaponry, semiconductors are ubiquitous in electrical and digital devices. And the demand for chips has been skyrocketing with the industry seeing numerous opportunities with emerging technologies such as artificial intelligence, quantum computing, the Internet of Things and advanced wireless communications all requiring cutting-edge semiconductor-enabled devices. While the demand is quite high, supply seems to be a matter of worry. We've all seen various uh, automotive giants especially flag off concerns regarding semiconductor shortage all over the world, haven't we? What caused the shortage? When COVID-19 spread from China to Europe and the US in 2020, auto giants like General Motors, Ford Motor and Volkswagen were forced to temporarily shut down production lines. Anticipating a market slowdown that would last some months, they cancelled orders for chips used in car electronic systems like driver assistance and navigation control. This made chip makers reassign their spare production capacity for the rest of the year to companies making smartphones, laptops and gaming devices which were experiencing a surge in demand during the pandemic lockdowns. When car sales bounced back faster than expected in the second half of last year and car makers tried to ramp up production, chip factories could not respond fast enough given the long lead timelines needed to schedule orders. Supply of chips cannot be turned on and off with a switch. These are multi-billion dollar wafer fabrication plants that are finely tuned and run 24-7, 365 days a year. Changing the production line for a new chip product can take weeks if not months and adding significant new wafer fabrication capacity can take years and billions of dollars. The industry underestimated vehicle consumption and thus the amount of chips they needed when the pandemic hit. Now, if you look at Bloomberg report, they are now expected to miss out on $61 billion worth of sales this year alone. Another key bottleneck is that just three or four foundries now account for the majority of global chip fabrication. An estimated 91% of the contract chip making business is housed within Asia, the lion's share of which is divided between just two regions, Taiwan and South Korea, home to TSMC and Samsung respectively. Sanctions against Chinese tech companies have further exacerbated the crisis. Originally concentrated in the auto industry, this shortage has now spread to a range of other consumer electronics including smartphones, refrigerators and microwaves. Why should you care? From delayed car deliveries to a supply shortfall in home appliances to costlier smartphones, Businesses and consumers across the globe are facing the brunt of an unprecedented shortage in semiconductor microchips. When will this end? Factories that produce chips cost tens of billions of dollars to build, and expanding their capacity can take up to a year for testing and qualifying complex tools. 
US President Joe Biden has sought $37 billion in funding for legislation to supercharge chip manufacturing in the country. Currently, four new factories are slated in the US, two by Intel Corp and one by TSMC in Arizona and the other by Samsung in Texas. China has also offered a myriad of subsidies to the chip industries as it tries to reduce its dependence on Western technology. Large automakers in the recent past have expressed that they expect the situation to improve from the second half onward with gradual restoring of chip inventory and easing of other supply chain related issues. But one thing is for sure, nobody sees this shortage getting over at least for another one or two quarters and some even see it extending well into 2022.